Hello everybody and welcome to another RuneScape private server tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make it so that you cannot ban the owner or how a command cannot be used on the owner. Okay, so to start off with you'll need to go into commands.java. You can find this in your Xena source folder. And then go source, com, rs, game, player, and then under content you should find commands. Okay, so when you're in commands you need to find the command that you don't want to be used on the owner. For this example we will use the command ipban. <clears throat> okay, so when you get to IP ban, this is the command right here. It will read if cmd0 equals ignore case IP ban. So that pretty much means if the first word equals ignoring the case IP ban, then it will do whatever is in between these brackets. Okay, so to start off with, you'll need to go to the very top just after the bracket where it starts. So remember, each open bracket has a closed bracket, and that's what holds in the code. So add a few enters and just return it a bit. And then, if you want to do it the easy way, just grab this bit right here, control copy, and then just paste it down there. But then change the 0 to a 1. This means if the second word that's in the command it will do is IP ban, then it will do whatever's in here. So this works. 0 is originally 1, or is actually the first word. So if you do a command, then this would be the first one. This would be 0. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. So, for example, IP ban is the zero, and then it would be like one, two, three, four, five. So depending on which order they are in the command, and if there's a space in between them, then that's their number. Okay, and then you have to change this bit to whatever the owner's name is. So for example, I'll do Poenizer. And then that's pretty much all you have to do, except, for, well, not all you have to do, that's a lie. Go down again, and then put in an else, and then do another bracket. And remember to close this bracket as well, and then you should be good. But also remember to add another bracket down there. Okay, so what this pretty much does is it says now if the if cmd0 or the first word equals ignoring the case IP ban, then it will do this. But if the second word or cmd1 equals ignoring case polonizer, then it will do whatever is in between these brackets. And if it isn't that or if else, then it will do whatever is this which is just the normal IP ban command. So for example, you could just type in here whatever you want. You could just what do this, uh, just be like player.getpackets, uh, I don't really remember this code correctly, um, dot send game message, I think that's correct, and then you just be like, you cannot ban me. And then close it, and that should work. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the correct code, uh, but Oh yeah, it is. It's right there. So just use that code, and if you do that, then it will send the message to whoever's trying to do it, and it should not ban you, if that makes sense. So if it doesn't make sense, I'll just go through it one more time. This if okay. So this whole thing reads that if the first letter equals ignoring the case IP ban, then it will do this. But if the second letter equals polonizer, then it will say send the person who's trying to ban them a message saying you cannot ban me. And if it doesn't equal Poenizer, then it will just continue with the rest of the IP banning. So hopefully that helped you, and I'll show you what it looks like in game. Okay, just quick. <coughs> sorry, just quickly before we do this, if you want to make this code that I just typed out work, you need to make it case sensitive, because that's just what happens. So replace the G and the M with capitals if you already didn't do that. If you didn't do that, then it will get this error saying that it cannot find the symbol because it does not recognize the game message because it needs to be case sensitive. Just letting you know. And, and the same goes for the P in packets. Okay, so to make it shown in game, if you go dot dot IP ban, and then remember we put in the polonizer as the owner, we'll send you cannot ban me. 